Page two. The following is a summary of information presented on the financial statements of a company on December 31st, 2019. And it is the income statement. And they want a horizontal analysis. Okay, so remember horizontal analysis is the one where you subtract. Now I typically will do the current year and then the previous year. So you need to subtract to get the dollar change. And then divide the dollar change by the, for the older year, the base year, to get the percentage. So 600 minus 504 is 96,000. Then divide that by the 504. You get 19.0%. So this is 96 divided by 504. Divided by 405 is 51. And then 51 divided by 405 is 12.6. 144 minus 99 is 45. And notice those two, they add down. but the percentages are not gonna like add up. Okay, for selling expenses, they actually went down, so you're gonna have a negative 3,000. And when you divide, when you get the percentage, it's also going to be a negative. All right, this one was a really big change before, was a, a big change. So when you divide it by the base year, you're actually gonna get a number greater than 100%. Okay, so don't let that freak you out. It's because it actually doubled. So the number is gonna be more than 100%. Okay, so Only for net income, 54 minus 22 divided by 22. All right, this one is also greater than 100% because it more than doubled. All right, for trend percentages, <clears throat> the base year, the very first year, is always your 100% number. All right, and then every number is divided by that base year. So here we're gonna do 406 divided by 400, then 459 divided by 400, then 606 divided by 400, and 700 divided by 400. So this is 101.5 percent. Finally, 700 divided by 400, 175%. Okay, this last one is a vertical analysis. And it's the vertical analysis of an income statement, okay? So when you're doing a vertical analysis of the income statement, net sales is always the 100% figure. And then every number on here is divided by net sales to get their percentage. So 33.70 divided by 63.55, that is 53%. 29.85 divided by 6355 46 I'm gonna say 47 because these should add up to 100 those two should all right 675 yeah, 
is 10.6. So this is 675 divided by 6355. 410 divided by 6355. 6.5. 1085 divided by 6355. 17.1. 1900 divided by 6355. 29.9, and they should kind of add up. So like 47 minus 17.1 is 29.9. All right, so 400 divided by 6355, 6.3. This is also 6.3. Twenty-three point six. This one is negative. So if you do twenty-nine point nine minus six point three, you get twenty-three point six. Two thirty divided by sixty-three fifty-five. This is three point six. And then twelve seventy divided by sixty-three fifty-five is nineteen point nine eight, which I'm going to round up to twenty, which makes it all balance out.